that my story may sound a little bit on the strange side, but uh, it's what I have to say. After that, I have no confidence in Walmart at all. It was on June fifth. I went to my laptop to place an order. I went over to the Walmart website. I selected my items as I normally do. But then when I went to check out, I get a message that the charge was not authorized. I didn't know why that would be. I knew there was money in my bank account. I knew I had money on my EBT card. I contacted Walmart Help over their help center, which is a chat. The people who are on that chat almost always don't seem to know what they're talking about. And once again, they didn't. I had no idea what to say or do, but I, they said to me, your bank declined the, the charge. They told me to call my bank. I did. I called the bank, and the bank said no charges from Walmart have come in. I contacted the help center once again. Once again, Sony likes my bank. I told them, no, the bank says no charges come in. They said, try again. I try again. I contacted the bank again. Once again, they said, no, no charges have come in. Well, I saw I was wasting my time. The people in Walmart were obviously lying to me. The bank actually sent me an email confirming no charges had come in. But Walmart wasn't going to listen to a thing I had to say. And also, Walmart does not have to give you an email or a web a fax number that you can send in the information that you have to prove what you're saying is true. I gave up and went to another merchant that day. But then on the 12th, once again, I wanted to make place an order. This time I was using a debit card from a different banking institution. There was money in that account too. There was still money on my EBT card. And once again, I tried to place an order and the same thing happened. I got the same message. I said, that it cannot possibly be. Both banks are not working. And I, they said to once again, to contact my bank. I contacted the bank. The bank said no charges from Walmart have come in at all. I realized Walmart was just lying to me. I did make a number of screenshots, and I even made a presentation of the screenshots with explanations as to what was happening. But of course, I had nobody to send it to. Nobody was there to really hear me or receive what I had to send. So I was lost. I had no idea what I could do. I basically gave up entirely, but then at the, it was the beginning of July, I received a phone call from someone who claimed she was from Walmart uh, Help and said that something had gone wrong with the website. It had nothing to do with anything with my accounts. They didn't want me to be angry. They wanted me to continue to shop from them. They were very sorry with what happened. And I did not, I would have to say, I forgot to mention, on July 7th, after the first uh, mishap, I actually went to the Walmart store in person, something that was not easy for me to do. First of all, I am 71. And secondly, I have two spinal disorders that make traveling painful. I nonetheless made the trip across town, and I used the same cards that had been declined. They were both accepted. I had no problem. So I said, something is wrong, and it is not with my cards. And it's also... I thought at the beginning maybe it's some sort of personal vendetta Walmart has against me. Well, if that were the case, the cards would have been rejected at the store too. I didn't know what to think. When I got that call at the beginning of July, she apologized to me, et cetera, et cetera. I should try again to place a charge and see what would happen. Shortly after that, I did place a charge for Walmart. It went through, there were no problems. But then, no. Uh, Recently, I tried to charge for them. The same thing happened as happened before. I get the message that the charges were not authorized. Once again, I am sent to charge to contact my bank. My bank once again says no charges from Walmart have come in. I then contacted Walmart Help again. They're saying to me, no, it's your bank. I think that basically they're all the time playing this game with me, sending me back and forth. I completely lost at that point. I said, well, I basically did try.
to do something. But as I saw, Walmart gives only one option, and that is their help center, chat. And when I chat with the people there, they take no responsibility. They don't give me any answers. They leave me just hanging. And I, they say to me, check with my bank. I have already checked with my bank before I even contacted them because I know fully well what I'm going to deal with. And once again, the banks are not the problem. The problem is with Walmart. But Walmart refuses to take any responsibility, as is their practice. So I don't know what else to say. I have tried everything. I turned to Piss Consumer, Better Business Bureau, and Federal Trade Commission, and I'm about ready to turn to the Attorney General here in D.C., although I've turned to them too many times about Walmart already. They're sick of hearing from me. I just don't know what else I'm going to do. I'm reaching the point that there is no one to talk with whatsoever, but I am not in a physical condition or in financial condition that I can go traveling across town just to do my shopping. I said I, I'm a disabled senior, and to put me through all that is not only unfair, it's inhuman. I have nothing much more to say about it, except that I wish all the worst on Walmart. I wish somebody would go and bomb the place. I want Walmart to finance my transportation to and from their store so I can come in in person and make their purchases legitimately with the cards that I have that the website will not answer, but the stores will. I don't know what else to say. It's I do not have the money. I live on Social Security only. I say I'm 71. I don't work. What is, what is the problem that they're having? Obviously, they do have a problem, a managerial problem. And if, if nobody is going to do anything about it there, they should just close down. I mean, I'd like to see them shut down for good after the things they've done to me. There's absolutely no justifiable reason for doing that. And I feel that in many ways, it's discrimination against me for being a disabled senior. I do believe that sort of thing exists. And in D.C., I've heard many people in D.C. say, say how they wish the, uh, the uh, seniors would just die so they could spend the money on things for younger people. I've heard that many times. That seems to be the theme in this city. I say D.C. stands for dysfunctional city. If it's being done right, it's not being done in D.C.